Well, for more on that, we're joined from Dubai by Saudi journalist Abdulaziz Al Khamis. Thank you very much indeed for being with us. We appreciate it. So um, I will start off by asking then, is it true? Are these negotiations underway and is the U.S. involved? Um, there is no um, current information now from the Saudi side or even from Israel. It's just a report in the uh, uh, side, American side. But uh, I think there is something about that two islands. It's uh, the Saudis, they want to use the islands now to um, use it in the big project for our tourism. And uh, it's a part of uh, a big tourism, a tourism project in the uh, vision of uh, 2030. And I think uh, they want to uh, do a, a lot of things in that area, especially in uh, uh, place like it uh, beside uh, Sharm el Sheikh in Egypt, and it's very important to expand the Saudi interests in, the, uh, in that region for uh, 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 the Saudi uh, interests, and especially for economical reasons. Now. President Biden is due to visit the region next month. Uh, we don't know, though, if he will be visiting Saudi Arabia. That's not yet finalized. Uh, would uh, a meeting with Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman be contingent on this deal being finalized? Uh, we don't know. I think uh, that the, the most important things uh, between Saudi Arabia and Biden administration is uh, not these two islands. It's uh, oil, uh, it's Iran, it's Yemen, there is a lot of files. Uh, I think it's good if they talk about it, especially about the relation between Saudi Arabia and Israel, and if the American can help to normalize the relations and naturalize, uh, naturalize it. But uh, I think there is a lot of things to do uh, between the Saudi Arabia and uh, America. And it's, uh, in my uh, uh, personal opinion, it's uh, very strange. Uh, the American, they uh, um, they come to this file, the relation between Saudi Arabia and Israel and these two islands uh, conflict, but uh, because there is a most important uh, uh, cases between the two countries, uh, the oil prices, the Iran uh, nuclear uh, uh, agreement and uh, the Yemen and the shortage of uh, uh, American supply uh, for uh, uh, military equipment to Saudi Arabia. Uh, it's, I think it, this uh, two islands, it's not the priority for the Saudis now. But if the Saudis, if the American, they put it or the Israeli and put it on the table, it will be good to negotiate about it, especially the Saudis, they want to um, or they promise in the beginning uh, or before many years, they want to develop a big commercial and tourism uh, uh, um, area. And uh, mm -hmm. they call it new between Saudi Arabia, Egypt and Jordan. And without Israel and cooperation with Israel, especially in the security and in the uh, uh, links, the sea links and uh, uh, Tiran Sanafir is a part of it, uh, and the uh, route is uh, lead to Ilat, uh, Ilat and Israel in the region. And that's why I think it's very important to reach a point. Um, well, Some well quite, exa exactly. And, and uh, it could be seen as a, a major security concession by uh, Israel because the Straits of Tehran, as you point out, lead straight to uh, Elat. Uh, and Saudi Arabia, unlike Egypt, does not have peace with Israel. Is this a step on the road towards peace between the two countries, between normalization? We hope that. And uh, we hope that because it's very important for us if we look to the future of the, our region without a peace with Israel and uh, cooperate in the many fields, uh, uh, economic, uh, health, education, tourism, and uh, security and the safety of the, of the region without Israel, will uh, there is a will be shortage in, in this phase. Uh, and the important thing is to show uh, we can do a lot together against the threat in the region uh, from uh, many parts in the region. They are enemy of Saudi Arabia and of uh, uh, Israel. They are the same enemies. Uh, but we think about, and we, I'm afraid of something, if Biden will use uh, these two islands to reach uh, some 
benefits or his interests, personal interests, uh, as, as like what they did usually the American uh, president, president, uh, presidents. They always talk about peace in the region. They uh, try to do something, but uh, true, without America, we can do it together, Israel and Saudi and other countries in the region. We can do it together and we can reach the peace together and we, for our interests and to help each other to have a very good for our uh, and, and, uh, next. And sorry, we are running out of time, but just briefly, Riyadh's position has always been that it would recognize Israel if there was uh, what you've called a just solution with the Palestinians. Um, there doesn't seem to be any chance of that happening anytime soon, sadly. Um, does that change anything? I think that in the end, if the Palestinians, they will not go to the table and to uh, with the Israelis and to have a peace and uh, we will and nobody will wait for them. Uh, the, the challenge in the region is most important and everybody look to uh, his interests, not to other people, to serve other people. They, they should serve uh, their people and their needs, security needs. And we can reach some point of uh, agreement, uh, not full agreement, but I think it's a, a good start if we if we do it. It will be a good start for the future for a full uh, relation between the two countries.